we're about to make some pesto fresh rolls. These are so good and so simple. It's avocado, sun-dried tomatoes, and some fresh basil pesto tossed in a rice paper wrap with some rice noodles. It's fresh. It's pesto-y, it's garlic-y, it's basil-y, it's tomato-y, it's avocado-y. It is just overall delicious. So simple to make, stays good in the refrigerator, super healthy, super filling, super low calorie, and something you're gonna have really fun making. So I hope everyone's having a really good day. I hope everyone had an amazing weekend. Let's make them. All right, so we've got ourselves some fresh basil, some avocado, some sun-dried tomatoes, some fresh basil pesto, which is basil, garlic, pine nuts, a little bit of water, a little bit of sea salt, and we have ourselves some rice noodles. These rice noodles are cooked for three minutes in some boiling water. Super simple, super easy to make. Then we have our rice paper sheets and a bowl of water. We're gonna get the rice paper sheets nice and soft and tender, place them on the mat. We're gonna add in our basil, our avocado, our sun-dried tomatoes. This is gonna be our filling along with the rice noodles. And then we're gonna roll it on up and we're gonna have ourselves an awesome wrap. Oh my goodness, I love fresh rolls, people. This is like the Italian fresh roll, the basil pesto fresh roll, the amazing, delicious, herby. Oh, it's so good. All right, so this is on the app, the Produce Section Challenge app on Google Play and on the Apple App Store. Tomorrow, tomorrow it's gonna come available so you guys can download it, check it out get some good eating. Um, I know a lot of people are home right now. I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys take care of yourselves, take care of your family. Your health is your utmost important thing. Remember that. I've been saying this for years. Your number one priority is always going to be your health. Make sure you buy rice, beans, grains. Make sure you buy potatoes and oats. Those are the things that are going to keep you through this. If you want to buy things, I'm going to say this really quickly. And if you're watching this on the app at a later date, then this is during the coronavirus. But if you're watching this now currently and you're dealing with this epidemic, here's the thing, guys. I go to the grocery store. Everyone is buying all the frozen pizzas, all the frozen mac and cheese, all the toilet paper. But there's so much rice and there's so many potatoes and there's so many beans and there's so many oats and there's so many grains. And I'm thinking, guys, we're doing this all wrong, people. I understand the fresh produce is only going to last for a little bit of time, maybe a week, a few days. So if there's a serious disaster, but, but rice, beans, potatoes, and oats. Guys, sweet potatoes, yellow potatoes, yams, baby potatoes, rice, sushi rice, jasmine rice. All the rice is super cheap, super affordable. You can buy them in big bulk bags. They last a really long time. They're super filling. They're super nutritious. And they're going to make you last and live a long time on very little. Rice, beans, potatoes, and grains like oats. Buy them in bulk. That's the way you eat healthy through a tragedy. Not frozen pizzas. I understand the temptation to buy all the frozen products because you're thinking it's frozen, it can last in the freezer for a long time, or to buy all the canned goods. It's canned, it'll last on the shelf for a long time. But you gotta understand, you still gotta be healthy. You still have to be healthy. Number one priority, your health during this. Stay healthy through this. That's what this is all about. This is a health scare, right? So make sure you take care of your health. Rice, beans, potatoes, oats, guys, grains. All right, let's make it. Ready? Let's cook up a awesome fresh roll. Here we go. We're gonna do it. So I need to take these. These are the rice paper sheets. We're gonna take a rice paper sheet. We're about to make pesto. Fresh rolls. Oh my goodness, is this gonna be good? We've got ourselves avocado. We've got ourselves basil. We've got ourselves sun dried tomato. We've got ourselves fresh basil pesto. So you're gonna place this in the water. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'm placing a rice paper wrap in some warm water. And then we're just gonna do it for a little bit. You wanna get it kind of soft and tender uh, in the water. Not too long that it becomes completely translucent, but just enough that it's tender and you can wrap it easily. So you kinda wanna find that middle ground, about five to 10 seconds, I would say closer to 10 seconds, but we're almost there. Get some of that rice starch off and get it nice and soft. Then we're gonna lay it, we're gonna wrap it. So let's do one more and let's lay it down. Now we're gonna stuff it. Let's stuff this rice paper sheet. You can see it's actually 
right here on this right here. Here is the rice paper wrapper. Nice and translucent, nice and wet, and nice and ready to wrap. Now we're gonna add in our uh, rice noodles. So the first thing we're gonna add in is some rice noodles. Here they are. Again, I cooked these for three minutes. Rice noodles, great thing to buy. There were so many rice noodles available. There was rice noodles for days. I can usually not even find rice noodles, and during a crisis, rice noodles were everywhere. So here we go, let's add some avocado. Let's add some sun-dried tomatoes. Here's some sun-dried tomatoes. Let's add some fresh basil. Here's some fresh basil. And then let's add in some basil pesto. Here's our pesto, we just made that up. So simple to make, four ingredients, so cheap. So simple, so easy. We're gonna layer on some fresh basil pesto. Oh yes, creamy goodness. Now let's wrap it. I kind of stuffed this one big, so we'll see how good we are here. I haven't wrapped one of these in a second. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. We go like this. I'm wrapping currently, guys. I'm gonna fold in the ends and then you wrap it like a burrito. Roll it over and then you roll it like a burrito. So you're gonna try to roll it as tight as you possibly can as the wrap, well, didn't do as good as usual, but we'll get a good one. There we go. So here's what it looks like. So there's pesto, avocado, sun-dried tomatoes, and basil. I'll show you what this looks like. Here's what it looks like. You've got sun-dried tomatoes, basil, pesto, avocado. Oh my goodness, I, went, I loaded this one up. I loaded this one up. Oh yeah, look at all that pesto. Look at all that avocado. I stuck a whole big slab of avocado in here. I put a ton of pesto. This is gonna be bursting with flavor. It didn't come out the prettiest, but oh my goodness, it's gonna be flavorful. Let's take a bite of it really quick. Oh. Yes. Mm. I just like, that's like taking a big piece of avocado and dipping it in a big thing of pesto and then throwing a sun-dried tomato on top of it. Wow, that is so flavorful. That is so good, it's so fresh. Hold on, let me take another bite of this. This thing is so good, guys. I don't know if you can, it's messy in the best kind of way. Mmm. It's like Italian meets Asian, and it's such a good match. Oh, it is super pesto-y, so basil-y, so garlicky, so creamy, especially the avocado. Mm. Really chewy because of the rice noodles. And then you get this little hint of smokiness. It's like smoky, basil-y, garlicky. That's what I would say it tastes like, because of the smokiness of the sun-dried tomato. Just a hint of smokiness at the end. And the sun-dried tomato, it chews a little differently. It kind of gets stuck in your teeth. So you get like this, this kick of smoke that kind of that drags through as you continue to eat it. The pesto hits you first. First you taste like that really basil-y, really garlicky flavor. And then as you continue to bite and that uh, sun-dried tomato kind of gets stuck in your teeth, you just taste that smoky, delicious, flavorful, tomato-y taste. Oh, that's so good. Oh my goodness. That's ridiculous, guys. Okay, one more bite. Mm. It's like an Italian sandwich, but it's wrapped in a fresh roll with rice noodles. It's awesome. I made this one before, so I got really excited when I was making this because I was like, this one is so good. All right. Oh, I'm gonna finish it off, I'm gonna finish it off. Okay. Basil, avocado. It's so good, I'm still eating it. Sun-dried tomatoes, that is so good. And pesto. That's how you make pesto fresh rolls. They're gonna be available on the app tomorrow, Google Play and the Apple App Store. That's so good. They're so simple to make. You can put them in the refrigerator, save them for lunch. They're great to keep for a couple days, probably two or three days you can keep them. Um, such a good, quick, on-the-go meal. So good to keep in the car, take to work with you, 
uh, to give your kids, put in the school boxes. There's so many opportunities you can do with these fresh rolls. Um, I hope you guys love them. And remember guys, when you're going to the grocery stores and if you are stocking up or if you are afraid or if you're panicking, to make sure you get the essentials and those essentials, I cannot say it again, are rice, beans, potatoes, and oats. Remember that Andrew Taylor lasted an entire year. He lived an entire year on a mono diet of only eating potatoes. So make sure you get things that are nutrient packed, have a long shelf life, but are healthy for you. I cannot emphasize that enough. Just because a frozen food is gonna last in your freezer for a while doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna have the nutrition or the nutrients to keep you healthy, to keep you healthy. You've gotta stay healthy through this, not just survive. You wanna survive and thrive, right? Thrive. You wanna actually get healthier every single day and live longer every single day and live better every single day. So it's kind of like when my dad was in the hospital and they told him he needed to eat more calories because he'd just come off a feeding tube and they just said eat as many calories as you possibly can. So they gave him insure pudding, which was just oil and sugar and high fructose corn syrup. They weren't thinking about the quality of the food he was eating. They were just thinking about you need to get enough calories. I still got food. I got sun dried tomatoes all over my, my mouth. But that's kind of the same philosophy here is we need to think about food. We need to think about it in a smart way right now. We need to be very educated about the way we make our decisions currently. In times of crisis, in times of panic, in times of being scared, you must be more rational, more thoughtful, and more insightful. And this is why I've said it for so long that we really need to educate our society and our people about the importance of food and what it is to eat well and to just eat. And that's what I'm saying. We want quality over quantity. Quality over quantity. I can't emphasize that enough. I got my dad nut butters. I got him... Uh, guacamole, there was plenty of ways to get his calories up in a, in a good way, in a healthy way. Not by just pumping oil and pumping, of course, I could just give him, I could just fill a cup full of olive oil, give it to my dad and he would have had enough calories. Would he have had enough nutrition? I, I highly doubt it. I don't think someone could survive on just drinking oil every single day, but they would have their 2000 calories. So you have to make sure you look at the whole picture, not just this idea of what we need to reach this number or we need to reach this goal. So if you're thinking, I just need to go buy a bunch of frozen food because I need to stay alive as long as I possibly can, you might not actually be doing the best service for yourself or giving yourself actually the best chance to live a longer life and actually survive something that is tragic. So make sure you buy the things that are essential, the things that societies have lived on for a long, long time with very little means and very little uh, advanced technology. So rice, beans, potatoes, oats, Make sure you go get those guys. I wish you guys the best. I'm always on your team. I'm always here to help you guys. I want you guys to be healthy, happy, live a long time, and uh, enjoy your lives. So I wish you guys the best. Have an amazing weekend. Uh, for anyone going through hardships financially uh, or hard times right now, guys, uh, I'm really sorry about what's going on. And I wish you guys the best. Uh, and I'm always here for you guys. Uh, reach out if you ever need help. I hope this, this video brings a smile to your face. I hope you love these pesto fresh rolls. And... Uh, I'm rooting for you every single day, and we're all in this together. All right, guys? All right. Have a wonderful weekend.